It wasn't that until uh, 2018 when I I saw that my my pee was not as clear, so I um, went to the hospital and then they told me that I needed a to start dialysis as an emergency. So ever since then, I've been on uh, peritoneal dialysis. He's been doing his studies on actually getting uh, to do a transplant of a kidney and a bladder at the same time. Um, I think uh, bladder is strictly within the realm of urology and so I think urologists need to really get involved in transplant um, and we're lucky to be here at UCLA because it's one of the few centers in the country where kidney transplant is under the umbrella of urology and so we take care of the entire gamut of issues that are related to the genital urinary system including transplantation because the alternative options of using bowel right now are well, you know, the gold standard, but not great for someone who's been uh, going to be immunosuppressed. Um, and so prone, uh, it predisposes them to infections and other issues that are not great. Um, with regards to your question about whether all patients will need a bladder or not, certainly not the case. Uh, the majority of kidney transplants that are done are done uh, kidney only. But if you don't have a bladder or if you don't have a bladder that's functioning, or if the bladder is actually the cause of your kidney failure, then it's a possibility that you may be considered for this. Well, my hope is to have a better life because obviously um, I'm still 42 and uh, I have kids that I would like to see them grow. So as much as I can have a kind of like a better life, uh, normal life.